What's going on, guys? It's your girl, Angie Snatch, coming at you with another episode of An Unbiased Truth. And today, I'm going to give an update in the YP case. If I hadn't done the research myself, I wouldn't even believe the information that I'm about to present to you guys. The way that this whole case is unfolding and the chaos young Pharaoh is creating around him is unbelievable. So young Pharaoh is facing seven charges, seven misdemeanor charges in the state of Texas. Four of those charges are for T threats, one charge for T threats against family members, one charge of A against a family member, and one charge of mischief before i get started i want to answer a question from love passy she put it in the comment section on my original video breaking down the charges of teeth threat uh against golden beauty love passy x was it ace haru the ex-bodyguard who put out charges against pharaoh yes one of these teeth threat charges is involving his ex-bodyguard ace haru if you want a full breakdown on that charge, you can go to Moorish World TV's channel. He did a video day before yesterday specifically addressing the charges regarding the bodyguard, Ace Haru. So I want to uh, show you this. Hold on. This is one of the T-Threat charges. I'm going to read it and I want you to pay attention to the name of the complainant in this charging document. Marshall Jeannie Daniels hereafter styled the defendant heretofore on or about November 18th, 2021, did then and there unlawfully threaten to commit an offense involving violence, namely aggravated A upon Sharia Janaya Jackson here and call the complainant with the intent to place the complainant in fear of imminent serious bodily injury. Sharia Jackson is a Houston based family law attorney, but she's not just any attorney. She was young Pharaoh's attorney up until November 18th, where she filed under index number 11, an emergency motion for withdrawal of counsel. She was his counsel on the 17th, but on the 18th, she filed an emergency motion for withdrawal. And I'm going to safely assume that it has everything to do with the threats that she is alleging young Pharaoh made against her on the 18th I want to play this video that Golden Beauty posted on her page she did a live stream after court where she's speaking to her followers about what happened at court and then later in that live stream she receives a message from young Pharaoh's attorney Sharia Jackson period how was court court was yeah, I've actually recorded a little bit because he tried to over talk the judge and like try to defend himself because his lawyer asked for DNA tests, I guess. Um, and <laughs> um, what juice? What? What about it? Get it. Get it. Um, he tried to overtalk the judge. First of all, I didn't really, I didn't, I didn't get to, um, we didn't discuss anything because his lawyer asked for um, the paternity stuff. So she couldn't, you know, she couldn't, she couldn't, uh, hold on guys. Well, his lawyer just emailed me and said that she is withdrawing from representing him. So there's that, man. <clears throat> Clearly young Pharaoh did not like the way that things played out at that November 17th 
court date. And I'm going to guess that he was triggered by his attorney's request for um, a genetic DNA test. I don't know if she knows fully her client, but he also thinks of his children as a possession. They are his, and no one can tell him he doesn't have the right to his children. There have been uh, several streams where he's screaming at the FaceTime to Golden, those are my kids, where are you taking my kids? And I think something like requesting a DNA is almost an affront to his possession of his children I don't think that it played out in the way that he thought it should I do think that what the attorney was trying to do was trying to buy time to create a settlement agreement because the first step if paternity is questioned in a custody agreement before the court can move forward with anything they have to establish paternity I don't think that's what he wanted. He wanted them to say right then and there that she must give me my children. So on the 18th is when he makes the threats against his attorney, according to this document. But it didn't just stop there. He didn't leave this woman alone even after she withdrew from the case on November 18th, keep in mind, November 18th, the day she withdrew from the case, the day that she's saying that she has been threatened, is also the same day that Golden Beauty does the live where she talks about the hole in her garage. All this happens on November 18th. But that wasn't enough for him, for her to withdraw after that threat. He threatens her again on November 22nd, according to this document. Marshall J. Daniels, also known as Pharaoh, and this is the first uh, charging document that I've seen where they have also now added his alias and I'm sure that is because his YouTube videos and public posts social media posts will become part of their evidence hereafter styled the defendant heretofore on or about November 22nd 2021 did then and there unlawfully threaten to commit an offense involving violence namely an assault upon Sharia Jackson herein after herein after called the complainant with the intent to place the complainant in fear of imminent serious bodily injury. So this is a threat on November 18th and then he comes back and threatens her again on November 22nd. Shout out to Bo De Shush for commenting uh, on the other video, you should also check Fort Bend and Waller counties. That's how I found out who Sharia Jackson was because Waller and Fort Bend County are neighboring counties. And while there are crim this criminal cases in Harris County, their civil case is being handled in a neighboring county. So shout out to Bode Bush for giving me that information. This is... I mean, this is just pure chaos. Now, it is one thing to say, you know what, I do not want to retain you any longer as counsel and the attorney withdraw. But then it's another thing to carry on and continue to call this woman or to antagonize this woman who doesn't know you from a can of paint was just an attorney trying to fight your case and if you do not want to retain her as counsel that is fine but he's just on a rampage threatening everyone and i'm so glad that this attorney took action and actually what this does and i don't know if he has any forethought left in him what this does is this brings solidity i mean validity to golden beauty ace haru and then there's one other woman sophia tavers claims that they have been threatened by him as well because here you have out of everyone I know I don't know uh, Sophia's background but out of everyone um, the attorney she is an officer of the court and duty bound to give 
honest testimony. So when you have an officer of the court, a sworn officer of the court, bar association attorney standing there saying, yes, I have been threatened by this person on the 18th and the 22nd. And then you have that charge of A against a family member and um, mischief, which those charges stem from November 2nd. An altercation between him and Golden Beauty. What is alleged is that he attacked her and he also broke her phone. So that's what that mischief charge is from that incident November 2nd. But then you have the bodyguard from September 3rd. So this is a pattern that is shown now in the court and his attorney, former attorney now, because he has a retained new legal counsel in this case but his former attorney can say yes I also was victim to his threats as well this is going to be something to watch because this is beyond a domestic relations style case there are many people now at my count, I have four because you have Ace Haru, the former bodyguard. You have Golden Beauty. You have whoever Sophia Tauber is. And now you have Sharia Jackson. These are four separate individuals with no ties to one another. All saying separately, other than Golden Beauty and Ace Haru that we know of. All saying separately that you have a pattern of threatening people. I, I really still don't even understand how he um, got bail with the amount of charges and how varying those uh, people that he's threatened are that they wouldn't do something more. However, I'm going to do another video on his bond conditions. His bond conditions, you won't believe what he has to do now to even move and I mean beyond the GPS box that they um made him put on he has other things that he has to do before he can move about in the state at all you guys let me know what you think this is a re-upload because I did listen to the first upload and I'm gonna be honest I was cooking all night and I said I wanted to do it before I went to bed. And I should have just went to bed because I definitely was sleepy. But I'm up. Happy, happy holidays to everyone, whether you celebrate or not. Love up on each other. You know, I lost my grandmother last month. And usually I take a stance on Thanksgiving and tell my mother all about the history. But this time I said, Angie, shut your mouth because she lost her mother a month ago. And this was like their thing. So... I'm all in it. I'm in it for the team. I stayed up. I cooked. And I can't wait to see my family. So I'm just so excited. All right, guys. It's your girl, Angie Snatch.